Last film, Bad Boys 2. It was good, like, it was really funny. Yeah, for yourself? Yeah. Nah, with the boys. I was sitting on their phones, I looked at my side, there was like, anyone watching this film? <laughs> nah, I'm a cinema geek. Uh, yeah. I've been three times the last two weeks. Seen The Gentleman, 1917, and then Bad Boys 2. The last time I went, I seen Star Wars. Star Wars, which one? One of the old ones in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I like most genres, I really like a good comedy. Like a good, like a really stupid comedy. So we'll see you at the National Film Festival then. You might do a wee monocle and just <laughs> sitting back, just enjoying the show. <laughs> Why don't we go with Michael Higdon? Motherwell legend. Ah, he's big, hard, like a whole sort bang yeah. goals in as well. Nah. <laughs> just enjoyed watching him. <laughs> Yogi, oh wow. <laughs> he was some boy, but he, so he was gaffed at Rafe my world, second last year. We got relegated for the championship. Last game, we were, I think it was the playoffs, and we got beat off, I want to say, Brecon. And after he's come in, and there's real toxic hatred in the change between a few boys and the gaffer. So uh, last day he's walked in, he's just gone, right boys, that's it. And just a couple of the boys have gone from caning him, he's caning them back, and it's just, Punches has been thrown, the assistant's going bad, and boys are shouting at him, he's like, poking boys at me, he's like, smart, like, it's class, it was, I was sitting there just enjoying the show, <laughs> it was nuts, like, he's had, he had a couple, like, hair dryers, like, when we played to sit in the mirror once, got beat 5-0, I think, we needed, like, a draw or something, and they were coming right up from behind us, beat 5-0, who wants a square go, who wants that, it was amazing, I was like, he's a legend, like, so, he's unbelievable, I loved him. Let's go to 5,000 SPFL goal. There's a wee carrot for you. Yeah? Yeah. Who's that against? Elgin. You like right Fuller. He's stolen. That'd be the last season before they got relegated by Last it? season before they got relegated by the mighty citizens. <laughs> yeah. It's been on, onwards and upwards since then for the citizens. <laughs> you played your part in our lives. Exactly, I know. They won me. <laughs> <laughs> Yogi at St. St. Mirren, aye, that was a big one. That was probably the biggest. Maybe the gaffer, he likes a wee hairdryer every now and then, but... Who are the players that think they're top dogs in the Who? That's a good one. I don't think anyone's really aggressive. Like, there's no one who's going to be swinging punches, but uh, a few boys are chirpy. They like to get their two pence in. <laughs> but, I don't know, I'm usually on the bench, so I don't really see it half time or that. I'm just, I'm just enjoying kicking a ball of it at the side. <laughs> I'm in the change room, I'm looking about, I catch eyes with one, and I'm thinking, who is going to be, <laughs> whose tunes are going to be terrible? I'm going to put it out there and say someone like, like Lairdy. I can imagine, I'm a, actually I like country, so maybe I would like Lairdy's tunes. I'm not saying he likes country, but <laughs> I can imagine him a bit of like acoustic vibes, yeah. I'm sure he said he likes house though. Billy Ray Cyrus, Billy Ray Cyrus, nah, I was thinking more like, Chris Stapleton, like a wee Tennessee country. Oh, right, you know your country. Oh, yeah. yeah I love it, country. I love it. It's my guilty pleasure, that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say Sinky. He's got a long time. He does, uh, when he's fit. <laughs> chocolate, he's kind of a wee bit as well, but when he when he loses it, I'm taking him under my wing, so when he loses it, he'll be back. So, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, watch this space. Some player, like, nah, some player. Could be playing at the highest level if it wasn't for injuries, him. Huh? Guarantee it, I guarantee it. I was in Bali in the summer, that was good. Oh, yeah. Nice. I've done a wee bit of travelling, like, done yeah. most, a lot of Europe, stuff like that, but um, Bali was next level, that was good, that was really good. What do you do? How, how can you finance Bali? What do you do outside of football? So, at the time, I was self employed personal trainer, so I just took the time off work, spent all my money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so now I've, I've levelled up one, so now I teach people to be personal trainers. So. You ain't got this personal training lad, ain't there's too many people doing it now? There's not enough, so if anyone wants enough. to sign up, I'm your man, just drop me a message, get you sorted out, get a wee discount. For the Ember City fans, anyone who wants to come, a personal trainer, just drop me a message at the fitness group, okay? <laughs> you think your fans are needing some personal training like this? Not at all, so but... I've seen it, some of them, all right. Yeah, but if they want to make a positive change in, in their life and helping other people change their life for the better, why not make a, make a step into the fitness industry? So times you No, but you know what they say? <laughs> sales never sleep, you got <laughs> Ah, we do know. Just a glake at look he's got on his face. You know, you just want to go out and knock him on the head, hello! <laughs> he could be starstruck, you know, me speaking to myself, you know, but I don't know about the others. I, I can't comment from that. What would you do to bring Dino out of his shell? Do you know what? I know exactly what I'd do. 
sign him up to my course, help him become a personal trainer and kickstart his confidence. Get him started, get him teaching other people. You'd be amazed what I can do in five weeks. <laughs> nah, superstitions are fundamentally weak. Concrete mentalities like myself don't need any superstitions. When you're saying that, I just can't help but imagine Conrad dressed as Mad Hatter in, uh, in Manchester for the Christmas night out. He really put a lot of effort into it and it was really creepy. <laughs> Mind you, I was very creepy too. I was a snowman, but a full thing, so you couldn't see my face. I just kept talking in this voice like, you want ice cream? <laughs> Surprised I never got to jail like that. <laughs> well, I would never turn down a 50-50. Uh, no, I love a 50-50. So you see Tom licking his lips, mm. there's, there's a ball that be one, you're in there mm, as well. Yeah, that gets me going. Kano's got a bit of, he's got a mean streak. Definitely been sent off more than me, Kano. But I'm going to come back to you, so why do you think the fans of other teams, you know, you're like the pint like Villa, why, why is that? Probably because, you know, I've got a big lad, throw my weight about. I yeah, I throw my weight about. Really like, who's this big huddy running about that I've paid to watch? <laughs> want my money back. <laughs> we Liam Brown. Is it? Yeah. But I don't want to hear something. <laughs> I went to Elgin and uh, like he'd just given the ball away and the gaffer's gone to him he's Oh yeah, so down, son. What's happening? Liam's turned round, half across the pitch. <laughs> chill out, man. We chill out, man. The gaffer's, what? Why? You'll be chilling out in the house! <laughs> I do enjoy the bus journeys, to be honest, because all the boys at the back, it's good, right? But um, the car school, that's Sinky, Brad Mack, Kano, and then it was Adam Watson before he was left on loan, but uh, yeah, three great lads. I've seen an alternative car school, though, because there's the Glasgow crowd, they're up the front of the Wii group. Aye, uh, you, know, you, know you know what the Ouija's are like? I keep themselves to themselves, don't speak to me like you're a Ouija. I've infiltrated their group though. Oh, yeah. yeah, I didn't give them a choice. They were kind of under my wing, like, got wee Aiden, he's here. You know, he's a wee slow burner, him. he's just coming out of his shell. Me and Craney call him the slow roasted lamb. He's in a slow cooker, just cooking, he's cooking. He's, he's almost ready to come in the oven, but he's still cooking a little bit. He's, uh, he's a legend though. <laughs> don't usually relax, 100 miles an hour all the time. <laughs> Never have a spare minute, but when I do, I like to go out for a wee bevy with my mates, yeah. big pint of tenants, oh, big juicy, right. big juicy pint of tenants. That's how I relax. Well, when you work in the gym, you're there all the time, like, it's not yeah. going to relax you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's more like, I'll need to get out of here. How do you go relax for the time? Ah, great question. Headquarters, Foresters, Portobello. <laughs> Best pint of tenants in the city, I'm telling you. <laughs> Me or for someone else? Somebody else, all mine are good. No, in fact, I never score, so you will never see one of mine. Definitely Blake Blair's, eh? Blake Blair. Uh, mind he scored, he took his top off with his under armour on. Are you, are you trying to show off or not? You're taking your top off, you've got to be revealing like a rippling torso. Like I would if I, if I took mine off. It must be a bit rusty, you know, he should have his... Ah, he had his wee, wee vest on, right? Uh, he should be used to, he should be used to celebration scoring all the time. <laughs> I've never had to do one here, but I usually do the same one. Which is? It's uh, Mika Lollipop. <clears throat> Sorry, let me compose myself. <laughs> Can't rush a genius. 